Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? You guys good? Thank you for tuning in and welcome back, man. Mr. J right here. And um, this vlog, man, I wanted to talk about, uh, let's give a score sheet to everything that went down a couple of days ago. Now, um, if this is your first time coming by, man, they call me Jay, and uh, it's gonna be a beautiful thing for you to be part of the family. So think about joining the family. Feel me? Hit that subscribe, man. And um, I want us to talk about that. I'm not gonna waste any time. I want us to talk about the recent Ghana Nigeria beef that went down in the hip hop section of the entertainment industry a couple of days ago. So, man, for the past three days, man, we've been going back and forth and uh, we've been having a whole lot of things trending when it comes to hip hop in Africa. And uh, the center of focus has been Ghana and Nigeria. And uh, you all know exactly what went down. And uh, this whole issue started when um, Ghanaian rap king, man, he goes by the name King Sako uh, in, in in the move to promote an, an upcoming an upcoming project man uh the championship uh mixtape which by the way is gonna be exclusively on opolis yes king saka dear man joins forces with uh lee parson and opolis to actually spread the wealth you know uh now you are going to be able to listen to king saka dear's project and while you listen to it you can also earn part of that money because he is going to mint it um, under the MFT. You feel me? It's another part of NFT, but this is going to be music FT. Now, um, if you don't know who Lee Parson is, and um, Opolis, uh, Lee Parson is the owner, CEO of Ditto Music, and uh, they've been in play for a while. Let's come back to what we want to talk about, man. I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on situation. And uh, so King Sako, dear man, the Ghanaian MC, man, he dropped uh, a freestyle, man, brag, uh, you know, which is an acronym for best rapper amongst goats. I mean, him saying this and giving it this name, he understood that there are goats around his environment, but he is one of the best, or he is the best. Take it whatever you want to take it. And in that freestyle man we saw a whole lot of things going down and there's a verse where he mentions a couple of his nigeria counterparts in good light and nothing harmful nothing you know disrespectful nothing uh, you know derogatory and uh, this did not sit well with uh, a particular afrobeat singer producer aka mr dremo femi raymond yes Brother from Odu State, big up and shout out to my Odu people, man. It's all love, Mr. J's Pan Africanist. You feel me? I don't want to pop up there to eat my own Eba and you guys start, you know, start choking me for the reactions I did, but it's all love, man. That is not even the focus right now, man. <laughs> so, um, this brother took to took it too hard. And uh, now I don't know if he understood everything clearly, and I don't know the purpose. But uh, it turns out, man, uh, during this whole back and forth situation, we got to understand a little bit about maybe why he did what he did. But uh, it's a strategic move from this brother, man. So this brother claps back and uh, he just went to war. Now, I don't know he was trying to please uh, one of the artists that was mentioned in King Sako Deer's freestyle brag. But um, yeah, he took it to war and then he just came, came, came and then course if you can take it to war because of somebody mentioning your 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 hero or your former employee or your countryman's name in a song then a Ghanaian MC too man one of the greatest most ferocious rappers from that country now goes by the name Lyrical Joe man Lyrical Joe just came on it 1960 man he did whew, this brother, you know, he does his normal thing. And like me speaking about Lyrical Joe is like somebody like, you know, it's like I've been in the house with this brother. I've been in the system and I know him. So the way I'm saying it would be like I'm trying to brag too. But brother came out in 1960, man. He took it a different dimension, man. He cleared the air and just just warned this brother. Like, oh, Dremo, don't, don't go down this path. 
And then, boom, this brother climbed back again. And uh, now I'm focusing on Lyrica Joe and Dremel. Because we've had all the MCs in Nigeria dropping back and forth, this and that. But I want to focus on these guys. So Dremel dropped another one. To which, uh, I think that was like the kill shot move because Lyrical Joe just came out with Femi Raymond and uh, that definitely is the knockout punch or is it? Now we don't know if this man is gonna <laughs> talk about Dremel, I don't know if Dremel is gonna clap back but um, something which Lyric Joe stated in the um, in Femi Raymond like he just came back to clear the air and to make you understand that um, you as in Femi Raymond to understand certain things and um, some of the things you you said in your previous you know ish was not I really accurate and then this man took you man he knocked you out and the most powerful thing I could think of is the line where he said Nepa this is my contribution it's blackout, it's night night, you know, like just, just put you to sleep. Now ladies and gentlemen, all that being said, now we had the, the trending and you know, the comments, you know, the reactions from left and right, man, home, Africa, abroad, man, it's just, you just went berserk. Yes, it went berserk. And um, this vlog that I want to talk about is actually, let us give a scorecard let's give kind of like a report card now ladies and gentlemen um i don't need to to sound patronistic i don't know i don't need to patronize one side but uh the results are definitely clear and glaring to see now fans from both sides have been you know going at it but i just want us to know and understand that this this is an exercise this is not supposed to be a cold war. This is hip hop, and that is the culture in hip hop. Beef has been in hip hop way from the days of Ella Kooji starting off with the kangaroo hat, and you know, to Tupac Shakur, to to Kendrick Lamar and Drake. They have we have had hip hop to Jay Z and Nas ish to Fit the Sin and Ja Rule man. To, man, it's look. Beef is part and parcel of hip hop. And when you go back to these folks, man, people beef and they are now buddies. Nas and Jay Z are cool. 50 Cent and Fat Joe are cool. Just 50 Cent and Jahoo. I don't know if they're ever gonna, they're ever gonna make that is make amends. But bro, let me say this. Huh? When we want to give a scorecard, man, we should talk about bars, man. We should talk about punchlines, man. We should talk about um word plays we should talk about a uh, word a uh, switching we should talk about um the energy and everything and i would say dremo is first when he came in he showed us that diversity but you see in his first clap back to sakodia this man he didn't sound uh, he he didn't sound like it this is no disrespect by nigerian people he said a whole lot of dope lines and he you know a whole lot of dope is and then 1960 came lyrical joe man lyrical joe has been this man has been flexing that ish it's just like you see somebody who has been to the gym before and then they stop for like six months going at somebody who has been in the gym for the past six months and that is lyrical joe working and fine-tuning his bars and then his wordplay and everything of course, we know exactly what's gonna happen. And then Mr. Dremel came back again, man, hold his own. But you see, the second one that this man came back at it, I would say, there's a scorecard to me, it's mediocre. It's mediocre because this man was clearly begging for that attention. When are you gonna reply? If you see this, when are you gonna do that? You, you know, that's not the purpose of beef. You are not supposed to come into beef begging the other person to reply. I will say this. By the way, you started this beef yourself. So it's it's, it's clear to say that Dreamo thought he could use this to, to fuel another thing which we are going to talk about in a little bit. And then, uh, you know, Little Good Joe came at it. Little Good Joe came out with, you know, Femi. 
And Lyrica Joe, in, in, in some way, Lyrica Joe went, he, he did his research, and then, see, there is nothing as good as an MC who can research and bring facts to the table, and then use it and mix it with, with you know, uh, uh, wordplay, and switches, punchlines, and, and everything like that. Lyrica Joe did that on Femi. And there's a line that Lyrica Joe said, you are playing with hip hop, you are coming to hip hop to use that momentum for hip hop to do something else. And Lyrica Joe did mention that this man was working on the project. And a few hours after this man dropped something coming soon, which is for me to say this man was actually seeking that, that wave, I mean, but rather, you know, he got it from a different source. So this man was coming as Sarko there, but then, Somebody else took him out. Do you know what it means to be aiming at somebody and then somebody else takes you out? It's just to let you know that you are not the level of the person in which you are reaching at. And yes, Dremo is not Sakodia's level. I don't think Mr. Sakodia needs to stoop that low to beef this brother. This has nothing to do with anything. This is not hate. And like I see some of the Nigerian people saying, oh, Eminem, this MGK, blah, 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 blah. But you guys fail to understand that it took Eminem a long time before he came at MGK. MGK had been saying shit and Eminem didn't say anything. Will Sako Dia does this man in a line or two down the road? Most definitely Sako Dia would do that. But at the moment, Sako Dia has to promote the championship mixed it, which is gonna be dope, man. So, the scorecard is this, man. Dremo lost. Nigeria, I'm sorry, man. Dremo is not your best rapper. Dremo is not the best MC who would have gone at this, at this level. I mean, uh, Little Good Joe is one of the greatest MCs now in Ghana. In terms of bar, wordplay, punchline, and everything. This man, is his delivery is impeccable. But Dremo is not one of your best. And we all know that we have the likes of Ladipo, the likes of uh, Emma Yabaga, the likes of Vector, man, the likes of Fino. We, we got a whole lot of them. So Dremel, to me, is not it. Dremel lost this one. Unless he want to come back. But we see that he's already pushing something that's about to come back, and that is Afrobeat, man. That is my time. And leave your comment and let me know exactly what you think. If this call is it, man. To me, I'll go to Ghana, man. Let's give, let's give that trophy to Ghana. You dig? Little Good Joe represented, and you know this beef, man. Little Good Joe took it for Mr. J. So this is one zero. Are there gonna be other beefs down the road? I don't know. We will wait and see. I mean, but hey, just guess what? We are watching, Mr. J. Out. Be good, and I hope you did become part of the family.